All right, when we first bought our boat, one of the first things I did was read the operator's manual for the engine and the out drive. And within it, it talks about the trim angle. And um, I have a DPS drive on this boat. And it talks about during normal operation, you need, between, need to be between negative five and eight degrees uh, without damaging your engine if you are running at normal cruising speed or wide open throttle. And then it talks about beach mode where you can trim it out to 30 degrees as long as you keep it under 1,000 RPM or else you can damage your U-joint assembly and such in the rear. So anyhow, the only problem was is my Garmin has a percentage trim and doesn't have angle trim. So I was, you know, how do I correlate the two? Um, and I was always concerned. I was afraid to trim it up more than a few percent because I didn't, I didn't want to damage my outdrive. So I just want to show you what I did to correlate the two. Okay, so the first thing I did was I went to the app store on my phone and downloaded a bubble level app. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them out there. Or if you have a digital level, uh, you can use one of those too. But um, I didn't, so I, I uh, found an app on, on the web. And then um, I jacked my uh, trailer up a little bit so I could trim my drive all the way down. Right now my drive won't uh, get all the way trimmed in due to the fact that my trailer sits pretty low. So I did that. I trimmed the drive all the way in. And then, you know, that's my wife's phone for an example, but I had that uh, bubble level app running and um, I had my wife in the boat and uh, I had her reading the percentage trim based on this angle. Now, that angle actually did not re read negative five degrees. I think it was negative two or three or something. Um, and that's just due to the fact that the boat's probably not sitting perfectly level on the trailer. So anyhow, but when the drive's trimmed all the way in, it's negative five degrees, uh, per, you know, that's, that's what the drive is actually at. And you can trim it out 13 degrees, uh, negative five plus eight is 13 degrees and still run wide open throttle, normal operation, etc. So basically I, I trimmed it out at least 20 degrees and I had my wife, um, calling out, you know, she, I would trim it out a little bit from the rear trim switch and say, Hey, what's it reading? And, uh, I was recording the trim angle versus the percentage on the Garmin ran it out, then also ran it back in. And actually when my drive's all the way trimmed down, it, it reads about seven or 8% and all the way up is uh, 97%. So this might not be exactly the same numbers for your drive, but, uh, and you know, of course this would work for a Mercury or anything. So anyhow, now let me show you what I did with those numbers. All right, so then with those numbers, I, I came and opened up Excel. And if you don't have Excel, of course you could do this with a piece of graphical paper too, but, uh, um, what I did was these are the trim angles that the bubble level was reading. And this was the percentage, um, trim that the Garmin was displaying. So as you can see at 8%, probably when I was trimmed in, it was negative 2.5, went back out then came back in, it was uh, negative 2.1. So, you know, once again, this isn't a super accurate, uh, uh you know, trim center and such. So, so anyhow, it, it's close. Um, so then, yeah, you can see I went to uh, 20 plus 2.5 degrees out trim. So I knew I was well beyond 13. And then what I did is over here in this column, I just wanted to normalize it to zero. So I took the average of these first two and then I, I just added 2.3 to all these numbers. And the reason I did that was I was trying to normalize um, my angle away from the transom. So of course these numbers stay the same. And then I just had Excel uh, plot that chart. Like I said, you could do this on a, on a piece of graph paper, but down here at the bottom, this is the uh, trim angle away from the transom. And then this is the um, trim percentage, right? So then I had Excel just uh, put a best fit line in here. So you can see at 13, uh, 13 degrees away from the transom would be right about here, which leads to about here on the graph, which for me means I can trim it up to about 30% on the Garmin display and not have to worry about uh, damaging that U-joint assembly by getting it going too fast. And, you know, I, I typically avoid shallow water, but, you know, clear up here, even it, when that's reading, uh, you know, if we go to the corner, 50%, I'm only trimmed out 25 degrees. So um, anyhow, if, if I would need to get into some shallow water, uh, I, I know I have quite a bit of range on the drive to do that as long as I keep the RPMs fairly low. So anyhow, that's what I did. If anybody else has any other ideas on, on how they've tried to correlate those two numbers, let me know. But uh, hopefully somebody finds this helpful. Thank you.